chaos. And they equate swirling with upgrading. And if it wasn't, if that wasn't the case, they surely do equate it to upgrading. Because honestly, why is it that when these mammies talk about women with other races, that they have to try and attack the woman and try and downgrade the woman, downgrade the relationship, and so forth. If you didn't feel it was a threat or something that you felt was uh, better than what you have, then you wouldn't have to downgrade something that you don't want. Like, I don't downgrade black love because I don't want it or care about it. I think if you find it and it works out for you, good for you. But when you are the one coming for others, that means that you don't like what you got and you like more what someone else has than what you have. And the problem is with these mammies is they feel like they can't get it. That's why they have such anger towards other women because they feel like those women are more valuable. When no one said that, you know, they deemed those women as more valuable than themselves. It all goes back to their low self esteem Why the fuck? Excuse my language, but you know I'm from Brooklyn. If that wasn't the case, why the fuck, as soon as a black man gets some money, he hops his ass over the fence and swirls? Because he equates I don't really think that's it. I think people just go with whatever option works for them. But I don't have anything against black men who do that. You know, that's my perspective on it. But I do know a lot of mammies who do, and they seem so bitter sometimes. And it's just like, yeah. They have a different position to be in. Like, you can see they're all bitter towards everybody. And this is why I always talk about that one mammy and how she just basically hates on everybody. Black men, black women, and so forth, you know. And it's just like, from my perspective, it's like really weird because it's like, you know, you can't realize that the one that's making you so miserable is yourself. And you can't even have some kind of accountability for what you've put on to yourself continue swirling with upgrading so let's just call it what it is swirling is upgrading for black women it is because we have high rates of successful marriages now, in regards to swirling as being an upgrade for black men, I don't see it that way. You know, because they stay with that 200% divorce rate. The way I see it is this. I don't see people as better than another. That's one thing I don't do. You know, I don't think black people are better than... Uh, well, I don't think white people are better than black people, and I really don't like to think that black people are better than white people in that sense. Um, I think everyone's right for what they're supposed to be. So, like, white people are um, good for being white for themselves because that's who they are. Why should we say they, they, they'd be better any other race? You get what I'm saying? And, like, black people, we're, the best us is us being black, you know, if you love yourself, you love yourself for everything that you are. And basically, the best version of you is what you already are in the sense of um, immutable characteristics. I'm not talking about, like, if you are a freaking slob, that that's the best you. No, I'm saying as far as, like, immutable characteristics, like you being a short person. That's the best version of you because you are a short person. You know what I mean? A black person is the best person, best version of themselves as a black person. You get what I'm saying? So I don't think people are upgrades just based off of a race. I think when we talk about success and better quality, better, more valuable, um, being a better provider, um, just different things, compatibility, um, 
functional relationships and so forth. To me, I think that I think that those people are basically based off of whatever particular person that is. And that could be black or white. You see, someone could be um, attracted to both races and therefore anyone could be their ideal, you know, if they're attracted to black people. Now, some people aren't attracted to black people, so then no black people will actually be ideal for them personally. Because physical attraction goes into being the right partner as well. Continue. So is it really an upgrade or is it a deflection? So I'm dealing with black women who happen to outnumber black males by two million in this country. So black men are not swirling because they have to, because there's not enough good black women to go around. That's bullshit. There, there, there are too many good black women to go around. Yes, but in the majority of society, I think there are more other people of other races who could be just as good of matches. And also, I don't think it's just about basically who's a good person. See, that's the thing with race loyalty that people have the idea of, is if someone is a good person, then you should basically be with that person just because they're a good person. But you have to understand, there are plenty of good people who are not right for another good person because their personalities don't fit, their ideals in a relationship don't fit, and so forth. But continue. There's not enough good black men to go around. And besides that, They just can't deal with the fact that black women are attracted to other races of men more, way more than they're attracted to black men, if at all. I think, honestly, when it comes down to attraction, that people are not attracted to the minority race in general. So black men and black women have an issue of being the minority and therefore not being attracted to black people generally as much as the majority race which is white and you know there's a larger majority of hispanic people as well so to me i think that's the main issue not particularly black people um being attracted to each other i don't think you're gonna find much of that so i definitely agree with this to me i just think you know that we're a minority race, so therefore the majority of the attractive people we find are not going to be within our race. Continue. If at all they're attracted to black men. So, you know, back to the mammies. Ho, you jealous. You mad. You don't make sense. You should be thrilled. My son is up now, so I got to cut this video kind of short. You should be thrilled that we're swirling. That's more black dick for you, stupid. But you're so blinded by your jealousy that you don't see it that way. You see us as doing better than you. How dare you get your bills paid? How do you have your white man pay your bills? How? Yeah, they do. And I don't get it. Just automatically by having a different racial preference, they feel like that is somehow a slight to them or a slight to black men when it's just like some people are just not naturally attracted, you know, and they can't get that through their thick heads either, some of them. They're just so hurt about it. You you not have to deal with the things that I deal with, such as, Sending commissary to my man because he got locked up again. Or he's up to his fourth baby mama outside of our relationship. How dare you think you're better? That's what I mean. You hear nonsense usually with them. It's like you wouldn't even know about this 
if no, they were just quiet and kind of lived in their own misery alone quietly, but oh well. I mean. Who do you think you are? Oh, you think you right now? <laughs> Sound familiar, ladies? Mm -hmm. They're jealous and they are triggered. There is no reason on God's green earth why my other two channels will not. I'm going to cut off right here. But yeah, I definitely agree with this. I feel like often that these people on both sides feel like they're, I think they're really honestly subjugating themselves to a standard of white supremacy and purity. And they put those standards on themselves as if that value is anything special to them. Even though they're not even white people, they're black people, you know, and then they get mad when other black people do not have the same standard as if we're all supposed to have this code to keep up this old law that has been long rid of this country, really. You know, to me, it's, it comes back to that, in my opinion. And a lot of these people are still slave-minded, basically. And so they basically see black people in a very low level. And so, like she said, <laughs> many of them do think, like, who do you think you are kind of thing. This is generated by a lot of different things in the black community, honestly, where people will come up with that idea because they see other black people in a very low level. So that's all I have to say right now. Thanks for watching. Like and subscribe and comment down below. Bye.